Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve a SQL interview question that was asked in Volkswagen. The problem is based on pivoting the basket data that we have. Now let's take a look at the problem statement. So before moving on to the problem statement, I would like to say that the question might seem tricky, but trust me, it's, it's very easy. The SQL query is going to be very easy uh, when, you, when we solve this question. So let's, let's move on to understand the problem statement. So assume that you have been given a table named baskets with the following schema. So this is the schema that we have. We have two columns. One is the person and the second one is the basket and both the data types having where care. Now, where each row contains a person's name and a comma separated list of fruits in their basket. So, so here is your input table. You have two columns, person and the basket. And this is the comma separated list of fruits in their basket. So for the person A, we can see apple, mango, or orange. For the person B, we can see apple. Uh, for the person C, we can see guava and cherry in his basket. And uh, similarly, for person D, mango, cherry, and orange. Now, what you have to do is you need to write a SQL query to transform the data so that each fruit becomes its own column. Now, we have to transform the data such that each of these fruits becomes their own, own independent columns. Uh, like we, we should be having one separate column for apple, separate column for mango, similarly for orange, for guava, and for cherry. Okay. And the value should be yes if the person has that fruit in the basket. Otherwise, it should be no. So this is how your output should look like. So you have the respective person column. Then you have uh, new independent columns of each fruit. That is for apple, mango, orange, guava, and cherry. Now let's take a look at how this output has been derived from this input table. As you can see, the person A has apple, mango, and orange in his basket. So here you can see yes for apple, yes for mango and yes for orange. And similarly, since there is no guava and no cherry in his basket, so uh, we see there is no has been assigned for these remaining fruits. Similarly, for the person B, we can see only apple. So there is only yes in, in, in this and, uh, and no for the remaining fruits. And for the C, we can see guava and cherry. So you will, you will be able to see yes for guava and cherry only. Otherwise, it's no. And similarly for D, it is mango, cherry, and orange. So mango, cherry, and orange. And then you can see no, 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 no. Okay. So I hope you are clear with the expected output from the input table. So let's move on to write the SQL query. Here, I'm not going to discuss the problem solving approach because it's going to be very easy. You can even pause the video here and just try the solution on your own. I have attached the MySQL script of the input table in the description box. So, so you can just uh, take it from there and just try writing the solution from your own. So let's move on to writing the solution in MySQL. Okay, cool. So as you can see, I have my baskets table already imported here. So here, if, this is my input table. So let's write the SQL query using like operator. So I'll be discussing two methods here. First of all, let's discuss Let's just discuss the method number one. So I am going to write, I'm going to write using like operator. And definitely we are going to make use of case when statement. So let's begin writing the query. So what is that I want in my output? I want person as one column and the respective column should be independent fruit names. So in this case, we have five unique fruits, apple, mango, orange, guava, and cherry. So we will be creating separate, separate columns for each of these fruits. So first of all, let me start writing it. Case when in the basket, the basket like it should be string percentage apple. If in the basket column, if there is something like apple, in that case, I want, I want to mention yes. Otherwise, else, I else it should be no, and it should be end as I will just give the alias as apple. Okay, and similarly, I'm going to do for the rest of my columns. So basket like, just copy. I'm just going to. Copy it from here. So here we are going to do for mango. Mango. Then yes, no. And I'm just, I will just give the alias as mango. Three, four, 
5 okay so we are done for, for apple and mango now let's do for orange orange then yes and i'll just give this alias as orange and similarly i'll be doing for guava and cherry as well guava Okay, so this is going to be from my baskets table. So if I just run this query, let's see what we get as the output. So as you can see, we have got our expected output A, B, C, D, yes, yes for apple, mango and orange and no for guava and cherry. Similarly for B, we have got yes for apple and no for the remaining fruits. Similarly for C, no for apple, mango, orange and yes for guava and cherry and for D, uh, uh, so on okay so if you don't know what is the use of the like operator so just see the like operator is used in a where clause to search for a specified pattern in a column so there are two wild cards the percentage sign represents zero one or multiple characters so underscore sign is usually used when you want to represent one or single character but since here we have multiple characters to deal with that's why uh, we just wanted to, wanted to search for a specified pattern. Like specified pattern is like apple. Since apple is present in in that uh, in that column or not. Okay. So that's how we were we were solving that. Now, now let's move on to our method number two. So you'll find this method a bit interesting because here we are going to make use of find in set. So there is find in set function in MySQL now. If you want to search for any uh, for any value within a list of string, in that case, it is used. So here we have a list of string that is uh, the basket column, which is nothing but a list of list of fruits. Okay, which is the comma comma separated list of fruits. Now here I just want to search for any specific fruit. So here the syntax is that just write find and set. You just want to find whichever the string you want to find, and here you want to mention uh, from where you want to find. That is our string list. So string list is the uh, list of string values to be searched. So whatever you want to search and from where you want to search. So this actually helps you to return the position of a string within, within a list of strings. Okay. So here you would see that if string is not found, this function returns zero. If it, is, it does not, if it is not found, it returns zero. If string or list string is null, this function returns null. If string list, list is an empty string, this function returns zero that's what you just want to put so let's write this uh, query making use of find and find and set operator so here i want to extract my person column first next here i will be writing if find in set okay One second now you want to find for apple and where you want to find you want to find in basket so if if it finds it that means greater than zero in that case i'm just writing if else if else condition here so if it finds in that case you just write yes otherwise you write no and let me just close it okay and I'll just give it as alias as apple. And similarly, I'll be doing it for the remaining fruits. So I've done for apple. So I'll be doing it for, I'll be searching for mango now in this case. So if, if it finds mango, in that case, it will be writing yes. If it does not find, it will be writing no. And I'll just give the alias as mango. And let's do similarly for another three fruits apple mango orange and it will be orange in this case it is cherry cherry and this is sorry it, it should be guava
and it should be cherry. So yeah, that's how you can solve this problem. So if I just run this query again, you will be see the expected output. So that's how you can approach this problem. I'll quickly help you understand the method too again. So we are using find and set operator, which is present in MySQL. Now what it does is, it is what it returns the position of the value in this in the list. So uh, so we have a list of fruits name which is uh, which is uh, the basket uh, and here if we want to uh, return the position of apple it will actually return uh, so if i just go on see this okay so this is my input table actually making use of find and set function because it returns the position of the value in the string starting from zero so the position of the value for example if you are searching for apple in in this okay in apple mango orange if you are searching for this what find and set will return is it will actually return the position of the value in the string so the position of the apple is one so the, the output would be one for example if you want to search for uh, guava you want to search for let's say cherry let's say cherry let's say cherry in guava cherry now in this case in this case what were in this case your output would be 2 because the position of the cherry is second position that's why your output would be 2 so that's why we are actually making use of greater than 0 sign here because it returns because it returns the position of the value in the list starting from 1 it does not start from 0 uh, if the if that thing does not exist at all in that case it will actually return 0 so that's why it will be printed as no if that does not exist if your fruit does not exist in in the basket list okay i hope you found this question really helpful and you you got something interesting to learn that there is find in set operator that exists in mysql and i hope you found this video very very helpful let me know in the comment section if you think there is any other or new method to solve this problem so that's all for this video guys let's meet in the next video thank you and see you soon bye bye